it's so mesmerizing. Ooh. Hey, 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 Stubby here. And today, we're finishing up Pneumaticraft and making a mistake. A very painful mistake. Let's go! Alright guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, so, had some recording difficulties, uh, but I did manage to accomplish a few things I wanted to take a moment to go back over. Um, number one, I got some stuff set up and didn't get it recorded properly. I tried, actually was re-recording because I had an issue with Pneumaticraft and it was annoying and it was going slow and I didn't do the editing right. So I re-recorded. In the re-recording, I was making the bioreactor, but it didn't record right. So attempt number three, let's hope this one works. Uh, so right here, I was getting my latex. You guys saw this, the fluid extractor with the lock. An easily automatable setup, but I'm manually doing it. Then you have, I made the latex processing unit. Latex processing unit, pretty simple to make. It's a pretty machine frame, a bucket of latex, water, block redstone. This, what you do with this is you take water, we'll fill it up real quick, it's got to be getting close to full. And latex. All right. Now it takes the water latex and it mixes it into this tiny dry rubber. Once you have nine of these, you can uh, use a crafting table, convert those into dry rubber, which then smelts into plastic. The plastic is what I needed along with slime for the bioreactor. Uh, now the slime actually kind of got lucky wandering uh, trader came by and I bought slime, two slime balls for four, four emeralds each. So that went along pretty well. Okay, I'm gonna show you real quick. The emeralds were pretty much given to me. <laughs> selling wheat, selling wheat and carrots. I got a mining book now, I'm ready to buy. Uh, I haven't used the beekeeper yet. I uh, bought a little bit off of the Pneumaticraft merchant I made just to get them going. Uh, with these traders, though, there is an auto trader version, which I will set up a few farmers as an auto trader, uh, just harvesting the crop, selling it, collecting the emeralds, uh, like wheat and carrots, basically. So that's how I did those things. The next thing I have set up this one I think is ready. Let's go find out. This will finish the biofuel off. Uh, the energy liquefier. So this one, I had to make a gold barrel, which is basically making a tier three barrel, and off of tier two, tier one, and then adding some cobblestone, some iron, and redstone. This takes power and makes it into a liquid form. So I have 16 buckets of liquid power. Uh, with that being said, I actually will need to make 64 buckets, so I'm going to make a tank, which I don't have the stuff for, uh, because I don't have the gold to do the gold upgrade either. I might end up just doing have purification. Nope, I might do make, maybe make a purification chamber and increase my ore processing, or maybe go find the bees. Hmm. Um, and then with bees, so I have the fluid tank full, 16 buckets. I might add another one, but it's dumping into a liquid trash can now, just so I can keep this stuff processing. Yep, endless. So 
So I'm going to make more barrels uh, for this. Oh, let's just go ahead and make them real quick. I think I should have everything. Oh, it's going to take so many. Uh, maybe I don't. We'll look at it. Let's go check our email. We've got emails. Uh, and the other part is I need to get into refined storage. So refined storage is going to take some... Uh, Quartz, nether quartz, whew, uh, to get started and power, our power is not what I want it to be. Uh, so we're going to need a lot, do a lot of work on the power. The digital miner is now available for us to buy. All right. So with this one, we can actually set it up to mine the blocks. Nice. $1,000. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, look at all this stuff we can get to. Oh uh, man, oh uh, man, infinite fluid, infinite storage, level 23 for 2,500, maybe we save up for that, hi drone, maybe we save, I need framed glass, fancy glass, 256, so four stacks of it, we can accept that. All right, so for that, basically, I'm just going to smelt a bunch of glass. Iron's already coming. No more prizes. Aw. All right, and here is the pneumatic craft setup I had. Um, so I manually did everything using the fluid mixer and the thermo pneumatic processing plant. I don't know how much I'm going to need. There is a way to automate this process. Um, and I did the, do I have sugar? Let's go get sugar and I'll show you what I did. So when it comes to the, uh, there we go. When it comes to the yeast colony, there's two ways to do it. You can use a thermal processing plant or you make one with a thermal processing plant, throw a piece of sugar into it, throw a piece of water next to it, and oh, you've got more. So I was doing that, running back and forth, producing. I had to produce the uh, the seed oil. The what was it? Ethanol came off that. Yeah, ethanol, the seed oil. Mix those together to get biodiesel. Take the biodiesel, filter through coal to get uh, molten plastic, and then you put two spider eyes, two gunpowder, two. Uh, something else uh, rotten flesh and a bucket of molten plastic and you get the bucket of etching acid and oh no oh, just got word guys there's gonna be a short commercial break we will be back hello stubby here and i'm interrupting your regularly scheduled program to talk to you about pneumaticraft uh so in this episode i worked through molten plastic and I set up the pressure chamber. So the first thing I want to talk about was the pressure chamber. The build I did is a five by five. We use these pressure chamber walls. Uh, now the walls and the pressure chamber glass are used interchangeably. You can use them however you want. Oh, not there. And just so it can be easily seen, um, Ooh, lava. That almost hurt. All right. So you have the pressure chamber walls. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. And we'll punch out that one and that one. All right, so we have the walls. That's your main form. Now I put a valve right here. This is going to let the pressure come in and out. And then the interface. So you have to have them facing both ways. Now you can click. I believe you can shift click or no, that doesn't work. The wrench. No, nope. okay. 
Oh, I thought that it used to work, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, anyway, click right here. So you have what? Moments, moments like this. Input, output, input, output. <laughs> anyway, and then the glass. And as soon as I put the last one in, it will transform into the pressure chamber. All right, and the last thing you need to do is hook up these valves, or the pressure tubes. Ta-da. And now our pressure chamber will build up pressure. So we're gonna add up, it's gonna go pretty quick because I uh, made all these going. All right, additionally, when I uh, did the molten plastic, I did it the slow hard way. I used one thermal processing plant for the items that needed uh, heat, which was specifically the yeast culture. Because that one only needed minimal heat, right? Maximum heat, okay, that's what it was. Uh, for the items that needed yeast culture, I had to take the lava bucket, click it, pull it back, click it, pull it back, click it, pull it back. Uh, time after time for each one, you get, it was 50 ethanol a click. Um, the seeds, you don't need any heat, so they just compress. Um, the fluid mixer, just mixed based off of pressure. And then the final one was the biodiesel to the plastic, uh, and that was max amount of heat. So these vortex tubes work great. So now I wanted to show you an easy way to automate it. Now there is some differences you can do, like the way I ran my pipes uh, was inefficient. If you moved this thermal... Therm thermo pneumatic processing plant back one you could actually use this pipe all the way across have this pipe merge into it um, so right here this creative flute tank this would be your method of input for the yeast culture for me i would use the the fluid duplication uh, but you could also do the thermo pneumatic processing which is incredibly easy i just currently don't have any fungus uh, hopper botanies set up but you do an infinite water source piped into one with low temperature 30 to 60 um, which is gonna be the same as what we're about to see and then you just feed in the fungus the same way as I fed in here uh, this next one I have the sugar being fed in to the hopper the Vortex tubes, I have the heat sinks on the left, right, front, and top. I'm trying to maintain the temperature that I want. I believe there is some better ways to do it, but this has been pretty dang consistent. It's almost too good where I'm probably going to break one off if I was to maintain this. But you would keep an eye on it and control the heat sinks as needed. Uh, so this would take the creative fluid uh, yeast culture that I'm using add sugar to it automatically and create ethanol. The ethanol is being piped over to the fluid mixer. This one dumps seeds straight into here, which creates plant oil. The combination of, or vegetable oil, the combination of vegetable oil and ethanol makes biodiesel. You run biodiesel with charcoal, you get molten plastic. Now for this uh, last item, pressure needs to build back up uh, when this is full you can just hopper it out item item pipe it out however you want this glycinol glycerol all right now that you've seen uh, a simple automation for uh, molten plastic and the process of the pressure chamber the last thing you can do is pipe Use item pipe, use the wrench, and we'll use a chest. So this is your last piece for automation. Uh, it, it's actually pretty convenient. You can pipe. The filter. I'm pretty sure Pipes has a filter. But 
extract. Extract, you know, perhaps you want to do it like this or work on any other filtering methods. But this is the simple, simple way. Anything I go in here goes in, whatever I create comes out. Now, you want to make sure if you're doing that, that I have them backwards. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the exporting, you want it to be crafted. If you do all, say, whatever you throw in, it's going to come right back out. So, crafted. Alright, and back to you, Stubby. <laughs> Thank you, Stubby. That was some good explaining. Alright, guys. So, we are back. We'll keep going. We have some progressing to do. 16K storage disk. Won't be too hard for us. Gold. Lots of gold. Lots and lots of gold, guys. Lots of gold. Lots of sugar. Lots and lots of sugar. Mm. All right. So much sugar. Emeralds. Thank you. All right. Carrots, thank you. Hmm, pumpkins. Racking up emeralds. All right, uh, so I think things we need to do. We need to make a tank, which is going to be this, I believe. Tank. Yeah, I'll have that one made. We're going to do this one, redstone iron. What don't I have? I right, put everything in here trying to... Oof, I got some sorting to do. Got a lot of sorting to do. One. Two. Three. We'll go ahead and make four. And we're going to come over here to our energy liquefier. Put a tank in. There's one. Put a tank in. Thank you for the upgrade. And we'll let that one fill up. So I need to make several, either A, several buckets that are iron which is four a piece. I need 64, so what's that, 16 barrels? Or we can look at making a gold barrel. So the gold barrel is going, or the, to do the gold barrel, I need to do a gold upgrade, which means I need lots of gold, lots of iron. Currently, I don't have that. So let's clean up. Right now, I think I have a huge number. Five. I'm out of control with how much gold I have. I know. I know. I know, guys. Y'all are jealous. I get it. And I need storage. So what do I want to do? I need to work on my storage. I need to work on power. I don't want to get too far ahead. We can push through these quests really quickly, and you're really able to in this game. Uh, you're able to push kind of as fast as you want to hand crank stuff out. Or we automate it and make our lives easier, because you never know when something will build for the next thing. Take the power. All right, yeah, this should just slowly be... Sit. Cool. As long as I'm not doing anything, this pressure is just going to sit there. What the hell did I eat? Oh, spider. I have steak right here. Steak. Steak. You ate a spider eye. not a cool person. Alright, let's put this stuff up. We're going to put 
that up, put that up, put that up, put that up. That, 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 that. Boom, boom. Wood. Need to grow more of those. Pumpkins. Sugar cane. Food. Wheat. I'm going to call you guys valuable for now. You're not, but enjoy it. Try rubber gold. Food. Stone. Extra stuff. Uh, pipes are going to stay with me. Block, block, block. Charcoal. Nomadicraft, Nomadicraft. More Nomadicraft. More Nomadicraft. Buckets going up. Uh, that stuff can stay. That can stay. These can go down. Up. There we go. And sugar. Food. Miscellaneous pneumaticraft. Extra stuff I have no room for. And torches. There we go. We did it. Alright, so where do we need to go? Well, we need nether quartz, which I believe be a spawns in the nether. Flowers is over nether wart. Alright. So we are I don't think I have any other word, do I? No soul sand. Alright. So that's going to be an adventure we need to make. So, let's go find ourselves some bees. What do you think? Let's go on a bee adventure in the nether again? I need nether quartz. I'm also going to need some soul sand. And I am going to need... Uh, some nether wart. And, obviously, lava. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. No idea where we're going, so we're going this way. And it appears we went to a dead end. Where are we going? 
Why is it so much to ask to find one B? Oh, I guess I should actually put the. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. See what I'm missing? All right, guys. I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna go find some bees after I go get my jars. So see y'all in a few minutes. All right, guys. I actually stumbled across this little uh, bastion thing, and I thought it'd be worth checking out. I figured we could come in here together, see what we find, angry people. Better than you. Not seeing anything. I don't see nothing. Oh, there's another level down there. Ah! Ow! Alright, I guess I gotta get back to my body. So, I'm gonna get my body, keep flying around. I will be back. Alright, guys. So, <laughs> that was. That was painful. That was very hard to get my stuff back. Uh, but it was a little more rewarding in gold than I expected, so. Nice. And I also found nether wart in there and some soul sand, so worth the pain, I think. I hope. It hurt. Um, didn't find another quartz bee. I did get almost a stack. So, in between episodes, I'm going to build up for refined power. Maybe, hopefully, find a bee. And just keep working towards this uh, liquid energy. Almost done. Ooh. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to wrap it up right here, guys. Thanks for checking it out, everybody. Uh, I'm glad you all took the time to watch. And if you're seeing it this far, you're amazing. And, uh, and uh, no, that's it. Drop by the Discord, the comments. Come say hi. Uh, don't be shy. See you guys next time. Still be out.